more exploring Arizona. We're out in the middle of the Coronado National Forest. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Neat craggy thingy up there. Santa Rita Mountains. Not everyone enjoys the wilderness the same way. How much did that cost? The trigger? No, the, the bullets. The bullets. Oh, I don't know. A couple dollars, maybe more. Oh, okay. Not too bad. Do no, you load them yourself? No. No? I would like to, but no, not yet. Yeah. Okay. If you're coming to southern Arizona for the winter, don't plan on always having warm weather if you're up at 5,000 feet in the mountains. Woke up this morning to a snow white ranch. One mountain peeking into the blue. It's beautiful. The Santa Rita is completely in the fog. Well, today we decided to drive out here and see if we could find this the spring. What's the name of the spring? Alamo Spring. Alamo Spring. Okay. There's charcoal in the wash. What is that? It's burned wood. Yeah, we call that charcoal. Ooh. You could have driven down there. Yeah, maybe not. Uh, it's, uh, I don't see much of a path or we're, what do you call this? Bushwhacking. We're bushwhacking. And the bushes are whacking me. Ouch. Ouch. Don't do that. Ouch. God damn. That one grabbed me. Oh, blood. The bushes in Arizona are aggressive. Are you sure we didn't have a path here somewhere? We're going the right way. The, wash, the springs are at the bottom. The springs are at the bottom. Problem with going to the bottom is... Ooh, look at that ant hole. Ant hill. They didn't make much of a hill, just a hole. There's a little choya. I'd be happy to grab you as you go past. I am bleeding. Hmm. Uh, I started to say the problem with going down to the bottom is you got to come back. We're about a quarter to a third of the way there. Oh, cat's claw. That'll grab you. Ooh, here's cat's claw. We're going to have to step up on it. Not try to just walk past it. We must have missed a pass. Another anthill. I don't think this is the way. I'm just curious about all the 
green lichen on the rock. More than halfway there. And should we bear to the left or bear to the right? Slightly to the right. Okay, then let's go this way. What's that app? Gaia? Yep. G-I-A-I? G-A-I. G-A-I. Well, we're down into a beautiful valley. And, uh... It's got a little bit too strenuous for me. Peter went ahead. 30 years ago, I'd have been right behind him, or maybe in front, but he went down there to see if we can get a picture of the water coming out of the spring. I'm gonna wait up here. Actually, I'm still down here, but we got a lot of going back up to do. Well, while I'm sitting here waiting for Peter, maybe I'll tell you a story. I got to thinking about this because a minute ago I was talking and I said something about 30 years ago. This would be more than 30 years ago. It'd be more than 40 years ago. My first wife was a park ranger, a naturalist, a, par a ranger naturalist, up in the Grand Tetons in Wyoming. And we lived in Coulter Bay in some old uh, CCC tin shacks. Actually, it was a little two-bedroom house, but uh, government housing. And the first summer we did it, I worked in the grocery store. And um, just as a checker and a stalker. And uh, the second year, I only worked half the summer and uh, I picked up dirty laundry in the cabin area, you know, sheets and towels after the maids got them bundled up. I'd drive around, pick all that stuff up, and take it to the main laundry. But I only worked half of the summer. And, uh, oh, look at there. I see a mantis cluster. An egg case, I think. I have to tell my son, the bugger, about that. Anyway, um, where was I? The second half of the summer, I didn't work, but I had met this guy who, at the time, had just gotten out of the Green Berets, and he was in shape, uh, to say the least. But he was also from Arizona, and he was a spelunker, a, uh, a cave explorer. And... Uh, because my wife was a ranger, we had access to some of John Coulter, who discovered that whole area as a trapper back when. Um, and we had access to one of his journals. And I read through it, and I found out that there was a cave that he had found. Um, and he had gone into it. So we got the basic coordinates of it. And my friend, the Spelunker, got real excited about it. And uh, we took off. Now, this is up into an area that's restricted from the public because, because my wife was a ranger. We got permission. And uh, this was a hike. He and I had done some serious hiking up there in the mountains before, but this one was uh, strenuous. We took off early in the morning. We parked our car and hiked up into this restricted area. This is out, oh, uh, east of uh, Jackson Lake and Coulter Bay uh, and Moran Junction. Anyway, we're off to the north of the highway, the main highway that comes in from the east, and uh, hiking and we have to go up and over an 11,000 foot ridge. Now, the base elevation there is seven, so we're not going up 11,000 feet, but we're going up a considerable uphill distance, up and over this ridge and down into a valley. And it was about five o'clock before we actually found what we were looking for. And we found 
a hole that went down on the ground, but it was too early in the year and the water was running into that hole. It wasn't a big stream or anything. It was a creek about two foot wide and a foot deep, but it was all pouring right into that hole. And you could hear the water went down, you know, just guessing, but 50, 60, 100 feet before it, before it sounded like it hit the bottom. So it was too much water going in there. We couldn't go in the hole, even though he was carrying uh, ropes and stuff. But now it's five o'clock and we're in grizzly bear country. And we're probably um, between six and seven miles down in a valley, six or seven miles back to the car. We're down in a valley and we got to go back up over this 11,000 foot ridge. And we don't want to be out there in the dark. We started running. And when I'm saying running, I'm not talking about jogging. I'm talking about running. Of course, you know, I was in shape and I was in my 20s and he was just out of the green berets and we ran. We ran for three hours because we didn't, and we're running in the dark now at the end. Got back to the car and that's the end of the story. All is well. Made it. We found the hole and we found John Coulter's graffiti with a date there. I forget the date, but it was 1800 something. That's my story for today. Peter's just about back up the hill. Peter did make it down to the spring. Doesn't look like much, but you have to realize that when water just bubbles up out of the ground in the desert, or even up here in the Sky Islands at a higher elevation, it's a very special thing. Water. Life. Uh, wonder why I'm breathing hard. There's the Santa Rita Mountains. And that is a hill down there that we already came up and over. And we were way down there in the dark place, way down in there. We're almost to the top of this hill, I hope. Yeah, I'm following some cows. Either gonna get to the car or the road going this way is my sense of direction. And there's no cat claw up here on top of the hill. Ah, <sighs> finally. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.